after about three years into the White Squirrel Festival, um, got a call from Woody Platt. Most of you know who Woody is, lead singer and guitarist for the Sea Candy Rangers. Uh, also a childhood friend, although he's several years younger than I am. He said, hey man, we need to do we need to do a bluegrass festival out of the Bar Music Center. I said, well, it's funny you said that, because I was just thinking, I'm heading in this direction. Let's do this thing. So without any hesitation, he and I got on the phone. We called Doc Watson's agent and said, we're going to bring Doc Watson to the bar. We're going to start Mountain Song Festival. It's going to be a fundraiser for the Boys and Girls Club, event number two in the bar. And at that point, that was when I was all in with I'm doing music, I'm not going to do anything else. Uh, you know, because it, it's easy to get spread thin and you do what I call mediocre work in a lot of things. And I didn't want to do mediocre in a lot of things. I wanted to do one thing really well uh, with an impact on the community. You know, I, I'm from here and I felt like the skills that I had attained as an artist and touring around uh, the country, paying attention to events that were produced well, and learning from the ones that weren't produced so well, how to promote, you know, um, your event the right way, all those things. I was like, yeah, Bavard is just right. I was like, there, this is one of the coolest places. We have all these natural assets around us. We've got a charming downtown. We've got Pisgah National Forest, DuPont. We've got all these lifestyle people that are starting to come to Bavard. I said, now is the time to start creating these events in this community before somebody else does. You know, sooner or later, somebody else would do it. I said, but I feel like I'm the natural person to be doing this because of my connections to the community. Um, and that is when Mountain Song Productions was born. Um, it's, uh, it's been an interesting ride, you know. It, like I said, it was never obvious to me until those, those moments that I described that this is what I'm supposed to be doing, this is what I want to do. Uh, I think, as a, you know, like I said, I knew I would never work for anybody else, but I never knew exactly what it is that I wanted to do. Um, and, you know, for some people, they have clarity early on. For me, I, I really never had clarity through high school, even through college, I struggled to, I, I never got the concept of, you know, climbing the rungs on the corporate ladder. None of that ever appealed to me. So this was, uh, it was a, it was really obvious. You know, once I got into it, it's like, I found my purpose. This is my purpose. Um, and so I'm still doing that now. Um, you know, like I said, Mount Song Festival is now in its 10th year. Uh, we're just finish our 13th year of the White Squirrel Festival. Uh, I also produce and promote uh, concerts at the Porter Center uh, here on the campus of Brevard College. Um, and Phil alluded to uh, doing uh, some work on cruise ships. Now this isn't your typical, you know, fruity drink and Hawaiian shirts and it, it, it's literally a music festival on a cruise ship. There's a company out of Atlanta called Six Man and basically I partnered with them and we took our mountain song concept and took it on a boat for two years. Uh, and it was a fantastic time. So you never know what opportunities will sort of present themselves once you commit to doing what it is that you do um, as an entrepreneur. And you know, I'm still finding these things now. Um, and you know, it's been one of the most rewarding things in my life. It has not been easy. I mean, you know, I've had the door slammed in my face more times than I can count. Um, so, which requires you to be very, very resourceful. Um, uh, but, you know, again, one of the advantages that I think I've had over other folks who might have tried to come in from another community and do it here is my connection to the local community. Having grown up here, uh, I just, you know everybody. And, you know, when I was having trouble with any given aspect of the event, there were resources readily at hand for me to go and, and talk to about and, 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 and get around it. So um, that's sort of how I got around here, how, where I am now. 